was up for grabs going into the 15th. Columnist Jerry Eisenberg. I always told the story by Joe. In the 15th round, he said to me, I'm God. Don't you know I'm God? God is my guardian. You can't stand up against the will of God. The will of God is that I win this fight. Fall, fool, fall. You can't fight God. And then uh, Frazier said, I looked at him and I hollered, well, God's going to get knocked on his ass tonight. And boom, that took knocked him down. Larry Merchant. In the famous words of Angelo Dundee, Ali's trainer, Ali was out when he was hit, and he was up when his ass hit the floor, which was to say that he simply refused to stay down. Hunter S. Thompson. It was the end of an era, but it seemed like when Frazier beat Ali that uh, the bad guys had won. Boxing historian Hank Kaplan. This brawl was a turning point in their careers, physical wise. They both received so much punishment as to have damaged their ability to produce maximum effort in any future fight. The damage to Frazier was immediate. Joe Hand. He was in the Jaffre Medical Center here in Philadelphia, and they were saying his blood pressure is this, his blood pressure is that, and it continued to go up because of kidney problems that he was uh, experiencing from the body shots. And he was just on the verge of taking a stroke, and finally his blood pressure did start to go down, and to say Joe Frazier was in just bad physical shape after the fight. That's just an understatement. He nearly died. For Ali, a swollen jaw came with his defeat, but not a bruised ego. Harry Markson. Well, a day or two later, when Ali showed up at my office, I said, uh, Mohammed, uh, you sure look like the greatest fighter in the world when you're sitting on your fanny. He said, oh, he said, you mean when I tripped over that left hook? He was very sharp. Larry Merchant. The fact that he was so good-humored about it probably won over a lot of the fans who thought that the result of this fight would shut his mouth. It, it did anything but. It was a great event. Battered and drained even in victory, Joe Frazier could do no better than come close in chapters two and three of boxing's greatest rivalry. But Muhammad Ali would go on to win the heavyweight championship again. And for his theatrical dazzle, for his courage and skill, for his beauty, but most especially for risking his career on principle, Ali went on to become the most famous, the most beloved athlete the world has ever known. Like Jack Johnson and Joe Lewis, Muhammad Ali made something of the heavyweight championship that transcended the championship itself. All three, by daring to be great, turned boxing rings into pedestals of American history. We hope you've enjoyed seeing how they did it. And we thank you for joining us in this corner.
has been a presentation of HBO Sports, the network of champions. It's beautiful.